Hi everyone, today we are going to talk about handling exceptions and to show you what is this, I'm going to give you a problem. Alright, so let's start with a problem. So I have this line, I'm going to keep things simple. I'm going to select this line, alright, let's go to the 3D mode. Let me hide these two first. So I'm going to select this line and go to derivative Python shell. And in here I have a piece of code. All right, so I have imported transactions. I have the document, I have assigned transactions to T and I have my element selected and I am using it as a curve. All right, so now nothing new. And I'm trying to create a wall based on this uh, line. All right, so I have all my all my arguments, and I have started the transaction and committed the transaction. So, say for example, I forgot one of these arguments, or I had a problem with the element ID. So let's keep it simple. I'm going just to remove this first argument. All right and click start so create takes at most eight arguments and so i have an exception it's not working now i return back oh sorry i return back my document and hit ok again so it's telling me starting a new transaction is not permitted it could be because another transaction already started so before i started this uh, transaction and then there was um, an exception, there was a problem. So the transaction is started, but is not ended. And I cannot start any other transaction. So Im imagine if you have a long uh, script or you are just learning and making some experiments. It's really annoying to close and hit cancel and again select and again go to rivet python shell so handling exceptions is uh, is our friend in this case so i'm going to print this again uh, so what do we need to do is basically just type try and let me send these lines all right and here I'm going to type accept all right and for the exception, I can print, for example, a message, okay? So what is this? It's going to try to do this, uh, this code. It's going to try to commit this, uh, this action. If this is not going to be possible, it's going to do something else, all right? So in our uh, in my case, I'm going to print, for example, there was an error. All right. So let me try to remove this document and hit OK. There was an error. All right. If I return now, again, there was an error. Why? Why is there an error? Because, again, I have started a transaction, all right? And then the code in here had a problem, had an exception. So it gave me this, this message. But again, the transaction is still opened. So to, to avoid this, we have in the Revit API docs, in the transaction class, in members, we have this commit that I'm using here. And we have also this start. And we have also one nice method, which is rollback. So this rolls back all changes made to the model during the transaction. So what am I going to do is basically just use t dot same way I use t dot start and t dot commit t dot roll back. All right, here we have two else. 
So what he's going to do is basically, if this is not going to work, it's going to roll back to the start point and then print my my error, okay? So let's see. I'm going to uh, going just to copy this, close, and print again my code in here. All right. So I have my method now of transaction and let's see if I get rid of this and hit start. It's going to tell me there was an error. Let's bring it back and start. As you can see, I have my wall without having to go out and close and all of that business. All right. Now, say, for example, say that I want to, instead of printing this message, I want to print the type of the error. Very simply, we have to type type error and then comma and type E or error or whatever you want to type in here. The important thing is that you bring it back in here. So now if I don't have this document, and hit go it's going to give me the error in here so create this method here create takes at most eight arguments seven given all right so this is how to handle exceptions uh in in the rivet python shell you can of course use it in uh when you create plugins and all of that uh, i hope this was useful um, thanks for watching and see you next time.